welcome back to my channel my name is rachel if you are new here i do a lot of like plus size hauls stuff of the likes try and find out if things are big girl approved today we have a shein haul but most importantly i hope you are doing really really good and i hope you had a wonderful holiday season whatever you celebrated i hope it was really fun and you had a lot of time with your family and loved ones so we have a Shein. We have a Shein haul, we have a Shein haul, we have a Shein haul. So most things, if you are not new, you will know that I get everything in a 30 to 32 US. It's just easier that way in case there is some sizing issues. If things come up a little bit big, we can just fix that with the belt most of the time. And yeah, so this, there's a few things that are like a little bit Valentine's Day E that can be alternated up or casual down it's up to you so we're gonna have a look we've got a few things some things that's regular schmegula i also have a pair of jeans that in a me as a teenager would have cried for so we're gonna find out what we have together let's find out see if they fit how they try ons as always they'll be here thank you so much for joining me and let's get into it so we're gonna start off strong with a graphic tee here we go it says sunshine stay magical and i do love a graphic tee i feel like they're easy to dress up or down i think if you throw a graphic tee took that t-shirt <laughs> into a midi with like some boots and like some sort of jacket whether it be leather or denim or whatever a blazer even like you can dress up a graphic tee which is so important when it comes to the comfortability and also just looking like you, you put a little bit of effort in that's the key put in no effort but looking like you did so the only thing i do find with Shein's t-shirts is that sometimes they are a bit short and i am on the taller side if you're new here i am six foot i'm tired of saying it myself but it is just short sleeved they look like they may be also maybe like close to cap sleeves. They're quite like three quarter, like one quarter sleeves actually. They are quite short. So this does look like it's going to be a bit short on me. Shorter than I would like. Typically if I get t-shirts from Shein, I get them labeled that are like t-shirt dresses so they're nice and long. Because I like things to cover my butt. If it doesn't cover my butt, the likelihood of me wearing it is pretty slim to not. But... I do like the graphic and if it's not long enough, I will just wear it for bed. I'm gonna be honest, someone's coming. I could do with a new t-shirt for bed. But this is cute. I do like the graphic. The graphic feels good. It doesn't feel like a sticker. I can crumble it up so the graphic does feel good. The only thing I do get concerned about with these, like I said, is the length. But we'll try them on. If not, bedtime t-shirt. And again, everything I do get is in a US size 30 to 32. Not sure if I said that already. Let's go next. So next thing we have is this hooded, let me get it the right way, hooded teddy jump back hoodie, tan hood and a tan lining all the way down to the bottom and it, it is quite thick but I'm going to be honest, I do think this after like a wash or two might be done for, like it might start to look a little bit carpety and that's just my truth but I love this. I love this like high cuffed sleeve. I love this. This goes to about here on me and that's exciting. I love that. So it's beautiful and I do like it but I'm just not sure on how long it will last. And if there's one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you the truth. I just don't know if it's going to last too long. But it is beautiful and I do like it. So if you're going to wear it, I would say wear it as like a top layer and avoid washing it if possible. But it is really cute and it does feel really soft and honestly, catch me in this. I will be in it, but I will be following my own advice and wearing it on top of like a deeper layer. Like t-shirt, jacket, maybe sit on the top. I'm not sure, but I wouldn't wear this as something that could get routinely dirty because it's not going to last long. Next, we have this hot pink, and this is different for me, this is different for me, <laughs> we have this hot pink, kind of like 
I don't know, it feels a little bit cropped, but I can't really tell yet. Um, but it will be cropped on me, I'm pretty sure. Long sleeve, hot pink shirt. And it's beautiful. Hey, I do like this. It does feel a little bit stiff. Not too stiff, actually, to be fair. It just feels a little bit rough. It's not soft. So my idea for this is I'm going to put it under a black dress that I have from Forest Inn Clothing. And it's just going to be like a little bit of pop of colour for Valentine's Day. For like a little Valentine's Day lookbook that I'm doing on Instagram. So that's my idea for this. But I think this is so cute and I do think I will get additional wear out of this because I am entering my pink era now. Honestly, I'm in it. A minute I'm really enjoying it but I own nothing pink so this is me just trying to get a few little pieces but it is cute and this is gonna go like perfect this would even be cute and I like just a graphic tee honestly like a black oh like a I have a pink killer clowns tee from hell on shirts and oh my god this with this underneath I'm impressed I would cry but I do like this and size wise it looks good like to be honest it may be a bit too loose it's quite big but i can't wait to try it on see what we think next we have let's go with this so this again something completely different for me v-neck over dress like this and it is quite long honestly this is gonna hit me good it'll be like mid calf to ankle maybe not ankle i'm pushing it but the straps are also adjustable and this is really nice like this is also gonna be something that would not survive one wash but this isn't something that you would typically need to wash typically and um, if you've got a dress underneath this should be like a little designer piece on top again I did get this for Valentine's Day lookbook but this is so cute the only thing I would say is that it, you're gonna struggle to get crinkles out with this um just because of the material I don't know if I would personally be comfortable ironing it like do you see the vibes like plain black dress underneath with this on top now that's fun that's valentine's that's valentine's that's valentine's this might be actually the dress i wear it with but i'm not sure actually because the necklines are different i just need to gauge how weird or different it's gonna look so I typically don't get things from Shein that only go to a 5X because I feel like that can be a little bit dicey. But this is a 5X and it does look like it's going to fit. So this is just a black textured little milkmaid dress with a top and then just goes into the waist and then it flares out. Fortunately, there is no like tear into this like that is getting on my nerves recently every time I get a dress seems to have a tear in it sometimes I don't want to have a tear so this is cute and I do and oh I do like this but this is again I said like a 5x so this is dicey this is dicey will it fit will it want because allegedly the size that I get I think most of the time is like 8x so a 5x we're getting adventurous and scary so we're gonna see if this fits again a 5x different for me scary for me trauma for me maybe but it's really cute I love the texture and we're gonna see how we go 5x we'll see and it feels nice it does feel nice I've had a lot worse feeling dresses from Shein we going back to comfy we have a hoodie dress and this is just plain black I'll be honest with you it's just me trying to be lazy trying to live my best in bed life I'm just trying to be asleep just trying to be cozy so it is just black hoodie plain black hoodie couldn't be any plainer the only thing that's special about this one is it has this little egg that's the only thing different about this one honestly it's just black hoodie it was sold I think is a black hoodie dress so that's what got me I said oh She's gonna be long. But I'm not actually sure about the sizing of this. I don't know if it's just if I'm being optically illusioned. I don't know. I'm just scared. I get scared. Um when it comes to like my lower half, my top half, normally always fine, but my lower half, like my hips, stomach, butt region, things get a little bit tight there. But just a classic black hoodie, long sleeves, hoodie dress. Hoping it fits. This is just for me, for just the days you know and you can't be bothered. You can't bother. Also, I do wish the Las Vegas thing wasn't on there. That would be helpful to me. I would like if that wasn't there. 
and if they could take that back, I would appreciate it, but we're stuck with it now. Hopefully it fits. Hopefully it fits. I've got a little bit of faith, but also, I'm always scared. Also, you want to see my new tattoo? Can you see? Oh, help with a picture. Help with a picture. It's noodles. And honestly, I'm going to be honest, I passed out. I did. He nearly finished the outline. And I said, ooh, I'm going to lay down. Next thing I knew, I woke up, my husband standing over me with a Reese's Pieces cup. And the tattooist also standing over me with a bottle of water. I couldn't believe it. My husband said I made a very funny noise. So please do eat something before you get tattoo. I have nearly passed out another time and also it was in the same region. It was also on this side too. Like right here. Apparently I get triggered. I'll be passing out. But anyway, eat something before you get tattoo. Oh, I love this off the bat. I'm so excited about this. So we have... But I do, like, the only thing is the straps. I'm not crazy about the straps. But this is so cute. Look at it. It's just a t-shirt. I'm going to guess maybe. Or was it marketed as a dress? If this is marketed as a dress, my everything is out. Exposed. But it's so cute. Shein, this in a dress, ASAP Rocky. I need it. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness. I do love this. I can see you through it. So it is a little, a little bit on the thinner side. So it's just a black like jersey material shirt with this beautiful mesh. Is it mesh? Is that mesh? I guess it is mesh. Mesh like fake crocheted I guess, are they actually crocheted? I mean, they're on there. They're not stickers. Oh my god, the cherries? This is everything. This is, honestly, this is taking me away to a secret place. A sweet escape. If you got it, I appreciate you. Try it to any length you want. I'll get back to that later. And there is also a zip in the back. So, that's nice. Does it actually move? Hold on. Is it fake? No. It, go, it does go down. I thought it was fake. But anyway. Oh my god. I love this so much. I'm yelling. I'm screaming. This is gorgeous. And I need this in like, honestly, like a milkmaid dress. Boom. This is, this is one of the most exciting items ever. So as an alternative, like, emo teenager, like, in my Mayday Parade, in the main, all-time low, very Vans off the wall era, still in it, but <laughs> as a teenager, and a plus-size teenager at that, I was a little bit round. Less round than I am now, but still round. Anyway, so, the only, like, alternative clothing that I had, or, like, Hemo or whatever, the only things I could find were like white skinny jeans, like bright white, I'm talking white, <laughs> they were so white, and I was always scared of wearing them, but I still had them on, honestly, and I also used to have this hoodie that had like, almost like a pop art style to it, that had like, boom, I wasn't even pop art, I'm waffling, I don't know how to describe it, it had like, boom, bang, zig, zag on it, those were the days, bro, those were the days, anyway, so these jeans, well, if I seen these jeans in my size back then, I would have yelped. So, they're like almost jegging like, because they are quite stretchy, not completely denim. I got a pink thread on it. Oh dear. Look at these. So, black skinny jeans, but very stretchy. Not very stretchy, I'd say medium stretch. We've got, in one rip, we've got studs. Look at that. In the next rip, we have honestly nothing and then the next rip fishnet I'm crying this is the best thing I've ever seen so these allegedly should fit they should see it they do say that that works right you put it around your neck should fit feels like a myth anyway so these are just typical jegging esque material two pockets at the back two pockets at the front and also we also got that little fake miscellaneous pocket that people say you should put coins in but it's a lie I've never seen anyone pull a coin out of that pocket have you think on that anyway 
So things are looking up, things are looking good. Is there a real zip? There is a real zip and a real button. Does it go down? It does. You've got to check. You've got to check in this world. Because everything's fake. <laughs> Everything is fake. Anyway, beautiful. Things are looking up. And I love these. I'm so thrilled. Literally, I'm so happy. If you told me, if you give these to teenage me, I would cry. I would feel one of the gang. Do you know how not one of the gang I felt when everyone else was in like Topshop and Urban Outfitters? I wasn't one of the gang then, I was in the accessory section. I'm not sure what I was going for with this. We've got a black pleated skirt. Looks like it's gonna hit me around just below the knee. Feels a bit small actually if I'm honest. But I don't know, honestly. I'm confused with size at the moment. This is a size 30, so this is flat 30. It does feel a little bit small. I wonder if that's just what I'm seeing in it. Um, but it is quite stretchy, so black, just pleated. And honestly, it feels good. Nothing to write home about it. It's not lined, I don't believe, no. No lining, so what you see is what you get. I can't see you through it, so that's good. So no one should see your hiney. But... <sighs> I'm gonna guess I thought I was someone else when I ordered this because I'm not really sure how I would style this if you had a black pleated skirt or if you have one let me know how you would style it because I'm not really sure um, my knowledge of skirts is quite minimal I like a plain black maxi skirt or I like a plain black mini skirt but a pleated skirt feels like a commitment and we're just gonna see how it goes I'm not sure but there is no lining there is stretch in the waistband but not a whole lot just a little. Actually, there is quite a bit of mine. There is quite a lot of stretch in there. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's alright. It's just a pleated skirt, but again, I'm not enthused about it because honestly, I don't know. I was, I was in a different mindset when I ordered it, apparently. But it is cute. I do enjoy it. It is cute. We're gonna find out how we can style this. If you have any styling ideas in the comments, please let me know because this is out my wheelhouse. Sometimes I surprise myself. Anyway, that is everything I've got from Shein a day. Let me know what you thought was your favorite item because I think mine, if the cherry pattern was in the milk made style dress, the one that I got 5XL, it would have been that. But that doesn't exist. I made it up. So, hmm, I'm not sure. I'll come back to you after the try and I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> because I'm not sure yet, not tried any of them on. I'm quite nervous about it. But we'll see. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had the most wonderful time. I really, really appreciate you watching. I'm very like picky with who I watch on YouTube. Cause like it's a commitment. Like like when you're working like a full time job on like oh, like just life. Just life is so busy. So I'm very selective with who I watch on YouTube. So thank you so much if you join me here today. I really, really appreciate that. I hope you have the most wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!